Resident Evil. You know, I keep forgetting I can just look down at my controller and see uh, what my character's status is in the, in the VMU, but usually I'm playing this game at night, so usually I can't see it, I don't know. Um, it just makes it easier so I can actually see the details in the dark. Like, for example, for the longest time I missed these! No, that's not those. Apparently I've been missing, uh, guns this entire time. I thought that was what was on the table right here, but... I don't know, I gotta, I gotta look around then. Because apparently... Somewhere... Yeah, let's put the stone lid down. Ah, okay. There we go. Two submachine guns are placed here. Um, do we have room for them? Hmm. Maybe I should drop off the shotgun? Didn't really read what it said before I closed the lid. That probably isn't the best thing. But, oh well. Let's try again. Uh... Did I just screw myself out of getting these? One second. Let's unequip that, because wasn't it saying... Oh, shoot. Please don't tell me I just screwed myself out of getting these. <laughs> It's something about the right hand and something about the light. That's why I unequipped the lighter. But, um... Wait! Oh, Robert Raval. I'm like, wait a minute. Raval! That's the guy we just saved. Was he a ghost all along? Guess not. That would have been, uh... I mean, we had already had Ghost Wesker, but that would have been too easy, I guess. Well, not too easy, but just... That would have actually been kind of creepy. <laughs> what a twist. Okay, maybe not actually creepy, maybe just a little... Huh. I wasn't expecting that from you, Resident Evil Code Veronica. Okay, so... I did something wrong. <laughs> uh... Shoot. Please hold on a moment while we fix these technical difficulties. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Resident Evil Code Noir. Welcome, Chris. A hard-hitting, uh... A hard-boiled detective. Who's gonna get to the bottom of this, no matter what? Even if he has to break all the rules. I don't know, I'll be right back. This has happened before. That fixed it. Okay. Don't know why I have those on. See, see, we've got color back. Well, you can't see from this screen, it's all black and white, but... Yeah, there we go, Capcom Yellow. <laughs> Alright, we're all set, let's, uh... Resident Evil. Well, I can actually check what that said instead of just being like, Oh yeah, I'll shut the lid! Because I'm sure it's some sort of puzzle. I'm sure we're not getting those Uzis right away. Alright. And welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out this thing again. Dedicate a light on my right hand. 
Seems that I can put the stone lid down. No. Do I have to give up the lighter at some point? There we go. Okay, I don't have to give up the lighter. Okay. Yeah, I want to take the submachine gun. There we go. Ooh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, it's dark again. I am really hoping that I didn't have to give up. This is my most useful weapon right now. Fighting against the darkness. I wouldn't give that up for all the, su the submachine guns in the world. Not at all. Alright. So... got another one. I'm gonna hold on to that 100 piece. I'm actually gonna use them. But for now, let's go back into the compound and see what we can do. See, I do actually read the comments from time to time. Not often. But from time to time. Man, I'm really glad I went back. Otherwise, I would've missed his, uh, his dad's, his granddad's some male relation. I would have missed his ancestors really. and I wouldn't have known anything about him. Alright. So let's check the areas we were in for. Actually, I've got a map. So let's see. Alright, so we don't have anything we can do up here because the fire is blocking our progress in uh, the room through the unicorn door. So, best bet, I'm guessing, is... Whoa, what was that? Oh, that was just the light. I'm like, oh, what's shimmering in the distance? Is it an item I missed? But, um, yeah, no, I'm guessing the best course of action would be go down to the basement again. See, see if we missed anything. Maybe it'll be like marching dog, and it's just like, no, you passed a door, but it was... Sort of looked like the rest of the wall, so <laughs> I don't blame you for missing it. Alright, so. We are here. Is that our objective? Where we're trying to get? I don't know what the yellow blips mean. Alright, we can't go forward, we gotta go down. No other way around it. No bones about it. Oh yeah, by the way, this this, this zombie down here in the water is going to be respawned because um, I, I went back to the save point, so... Nothing over here. Okay. Just making sure there's nothing hanging on the walls, nothing I can't, that I'm missing. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright, this room. Did I miss anything in this room? Well, I won't be able to tell until I get back upstairs. Let's check. Well, I missed the herbs. But those can stay there. In case I need them in a pinch. Uh, wait a minute. Go back through this door. What is the yellow blip? Is 
Is it the console? Okay, what's this again? Take the doorknob. I don't need the doorknob. Not yet. <laughs> that's right. Okay, so that's... Maybe the yellow blip is the doorknob. Switch is broken. We could go through here. And that brought us to the decontamination room. Say I'm remembering. Or the chemical room, if you will. And this was a closed... Yeah, we couldn't do anything in here. Well, we, we've done everything that we can in here. So far as I know. You know what, I'll, gra I'll grab the doorknob. Oh wait. If this is... Oh, looks like that's what I should have done anyway. Who would have known, picking up a doorknob? <laughs> What are we fighting? <laughs> Come on. Ah. A lizard. Okay. And if I remember, there was a door over No, that's the elevator I can't go through. Okay, I checked that. Oh. Hi, guys. No, I just want to get by. Don't... Don't need, uh... Don't need any of your guff. I'm just trying to get get out of here. I don't want to fight you right yet. Although it probably would have taken him less health to fight them. Jeez, I'm at caution. Oh, I thought I was worse off than that. Oh well. Oh yeah, I never did this, did I? Might as well. Because that'll give me the clip right there. Can I do anything with this? No? No? Okay. Maybe I should kill those spiders. <laughs> Just so I can easily get back to uh, a save room. Oh no, I can go th from down here. So it seems, I take the shotgun, it seems there's no real... That was it. Alright. Yeah, let's go up the ladder. I want to get back to the save area. Where can I use the doorknob? Seriously, I'm trying to think, where can I use a door? <laughs> oh, I never opened this, did I? This is probably a puzzle, I doubt there's anything in here. Might as well check. Aha, it won't open. Maybe it's this one. This one. This one. That this one. No, okay. <laughs> Alright, should you... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, man, I should try that code. 
should try the uh, old Nintendo code. 23 is number one. That would be a hoot. Alright, didn't we have a... Uh, did I pick up a green arm? Yeah. Alright. Because I do want to heal up a little bit after that fiasco with the... Uh... Let's try that. 23... Who's number one? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, cheating the system. I probably wasn't supposed to get that for quite a while. Not that it really helps me now, but... <laughs> oh, I love that people use the same patterns. It's like, oh, what's that, um... Is it... Yeah, it's the Kevin Levine games, isn't it? That, uh... They've always got the same code in them. Am I thinking of the right games? Am I thinking of something else? Also, that looked like someone... W something was just... Oh! Just, uh... Leaning against the wall. Didn't seem like it... Was important, but I figure I'd check it out. I'll pick up one of these. I can't remember, did I ever check if I could combine, uh, red and red herb? Just something silly like that to piss people off. <laughs> Nothing else we can do in here, huh? Right? I want to check. We've got an inkling of an idea of where we might be able to go, but that doorknob's really got me stuck. Y'all hear me shop. I'm gonna go back to the uh to the room with the fire, actually. Because as soon as I saw fire, I'm like, oh, I can't move through here. But uh, if you look at the map, which we'll do in just a second once we get out. Uh, whoops. It looks like there may be enough room for me to move past in the room where the fire is. You know, we'll take care of this guy. Like I said, I didn't save the last, uh... Okay, there you are. I'm like, you can't see which way you're coming from. I don't know if you're coming from behind or in front. There we go. One or the other, the guns or the lighter. Alright, so yeah. It looks like there should be enough room to move by. Ooh, I'm doing- I'm on danger. Ooh, yeah, I'm on danger. Uh... There we go. Being- because I was stupid with those lizard folk. <laughs> Should've just taken care of them. I had a shot again, after all. Oh, I see what's going on. Now I get it. So that thing's not creating holograms or anything. It's checking to see if there's anybody there. Oh, that's cool. That's like a, that's a little bit of stealth then. 
Ooh, that's that's an interesting uh that's an interesting little addition to the to the gameplay, actually. That was the Oh, thank god, yes. Side pack, side pack, side pack. Oh my god, thank god. That's a that's a neat way that they introduced it as well, because with the Wesker cutscene, I had no idea what was going on. Alright, so I don't even know what room this is. <laughs> oh man, laptop. It's uh Email Leon to come to our rescue. Email Ada Wong to come to our rescue. Anybody, just help. <laughs> we thought we were rescuing people, but it ends up that we needed to help ourselves. No footsteps. It's always a good sign. Of course the doorknob is missing. And of course I didn't bring the doorknob with me. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could... Okay, now I know where we are in the military base. Okay... Gotta go back and get the doorknob. <laughs> That is neat. Not that I'm gonna get in it and screw myself over. Hopefully, I can go the whole game without setting that one off. That one off, because that looks like it's pretty simple to dodge. But it's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna set it off despite my best efforts. The uh, spider lair and the other one are about the same distance apart. I might as well choose the less risky one <laughs> because it's just it's just through here anyway. It's kind of uh. Well, I'm sure it'll be closer once we open the door with the... that needs the seal called Halberd. But, uh, yeah. I was not expecting a, a stealth segment, or any stealth gameplay. I'm really liking this half so far, because it's not all about the, uh, the action like Claire's felt like it was. It's much more tense. A lot slower. It feels like it, at least. Because, like, Claire, we're running into zombies left and right. Here, it's... And we got those Stretch Armstrong monsters. Here, it's kind of... Just taking it a little slow. It's, it's nice. Take some more health. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Where is that doorknob? There it is. Alright, and... Uh... I'm gonna take the empty extinguisher with me, actually, because, uh... Why, why would we have it if we can't refill it at some point? I mean, I know you have to be a trained professional in order to fill it and everything. <laughs> Otherwise, things can go horribly wrong. But, I mean, Chris is a trained professional, right? He totally saved Juan Raval from, uh, death. He totally just, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Man. It's so nice that the elevator starts halfway up or halfway down each time we get in it. Alright. 
See, that didn't take too long. Just a couple minutes. I wasn't sure at first if it uh, randomly changed either, and it seems like if I stay on the right side of the hall, it can't get me. I'm not gonna test that because I don't want. Again, I don't want to activate it if I can't if I can help it. But it seemed like that time it almost scanned me. All right, let's see. I, I don't remember if there was anything over here. Besides, wasn't this the uh, area where was it Claire fell down, or was it Steve? Uh... Oh, the tank object. Sure. So if we uh, if we place that down on the little model replica, does that open a tiny little trap door? Like when uh to match its uh, real-life counterpart. Okay, that's it. Okay. Where do we have to go? Back in the elevator. First floor. Alright. It's right over there. I could have just shimmied along the wall, maybe? I don't know. That's, that's kind of annoying that you're right next to where you need to be, but you have to go all the way around, even at this late stage in the game. Well, I mean, it's early in Chris's half, but... I know where it is because of Claire's half. <laughs> Alright. As far as the 23 is number one. Ooh, where are you? I missed you somehow, but... <laughs> It's really hard to tell where it's scanning, depth-wise. Oh well. Alright, so the tank model... ...goes in here. There we go. So wait, what's going on now? Yes, I'll take the turntable key. What's going on? Secret passage note. I'm not doing Alfred's voice. I'm not doing it. The underground passage, which leads to the mansion where Alexi and I live, has been badly damaged. Although I can never allow the unwashed to see Alexia, I cannot go on using the underground waterway that these local people made either. Oh yes. I think I'll have those prisoners build a bridge. It must be a gorgeous bridge that befits the perfection that is Alexia. Of course, I must kill everyone who's involved in the construction of the bridge after it's done. <laughs> I don't know. So that no one will know about the existence of our mansion. But that's okay, as I have no problem executing such mass matters. See what I did there? It's a pun. Executing and executing people. I am so clever, I'm Alfred Ashford. Ah. Once the bridge is completed, I'll seal the mansion entrance door at the end of the underground waterway. The entrance of the waterway is locked by the di diorama trick. 
ensuring the secrecy of our mansion. Um, is that what we already did with... Lead three armies here and the path will open. Okay. Is that our, what we already did with Claire? Okay, so I'm guessing we have to do that in order to move this around and get the, the green herbs and the shotgun shells? I don't know. That was probably the worst Alfred Ashford I've done yet. Because <laughs> it was so lazy. I don't want to do an Alfred Ashford right now. Oh, it's gone. Oh, I really hope, was hoping this wouldn't happen with <laughs> the positions of the of the things changing. Um, we gotta go back to the turntable. But I'm gonna do that next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with Mio Itsfu. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now.